My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamour. Oh, I love you too, Glamour girls. Hi, everyone. This is Glamour, and I just wanted to give you a little synopsis of why I made this tutorial and what is in the tutorial. And many of y'all have probably already seen my orange bandana turtle hat tutorial. And that was for a child of about seven to a petite sized adult. And normally I don't make other sizes than what I make in those tutorials. But when my son, who is 30 years old, yep, I said 30, <laughs> he has always been a fan of the turtles. So um, when he saw it, he tried it on and it almost fit him perfectly. He just wanted me to make a couple of alterations. Um, and so I kind of explained to you in this video that you're about to watch what those differences are, the alterations that I made. Um, the first thing that I think I should tell you is that I think you should go and watch the orange bandana turtle hat tutorial first through its entirety and then if you're making this for an adult, come back and watch this. So one of the first things that you'll notice is that um, I mentioned that I followed the green portion of the hat exactly. I used the exact same pattern for this tutorial as I did for the orange bandana one, except I used a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is an eye hook in American size. And in the orange bandana tutorial, I used a 5.0, which is an H. So that's one difference. And then the next thing that I think you'll need to go and watch the orange bandana one for is to know where to place your stitch markers so that you know where to begin your color B, whether you're making a blue mask, a purple mask, a red mask, an orange mask, whichever. You'll need to watch the orange one first in order to know where to place your stitch markers to know where to start your color B. Okay, for the orange bandana, the beginning, I chained 35 and then went all along. And then at the second stitch marker, when I was finished, I chained 37. For this tutorial, you're gonna start off with 40 chains, and then go all the way to the second stitch marker, then you're gonna chain 42, and then you're gonna start your rows of half double crochet. Which brings me to the next difference. In the orange bandana tutorial, I only made one row of half double crochets before starting the opening for the eyes. For this adult size tutorial, I make three rows of half double crochets. Um, and then that's kind of where this tutorial starts. So all of this took place before I even um, thought about turning the camera on to show y'all this this pattern so okay now that you we've got three rows of half double crochets you can go ahead and watch this video and you'll know what the differences are for the eye opening that I made for this tutorial than I did for the orange one because as you'll hear in the tutorial you'll understand why I made the opening of the eyes different oh I know another mistake that I uh, I noticed in this tutorial so I ended up cutting that portion out of the video and I put a little note in there um, instead so even though I have a little note in there I want to let you know about it so at one point I said okay now that we've done the eye opening let's do one row of half double crochet under the eye opening and then you'll be done but I cut that part out where it says and then you'll be done because I forgot to tell y'all that you need to do two rows of half double crochet before you're finished with your hat. Um, so that's probably the last difference or the last thing that I didn't mention in the video that I should have. And at first I thought, okay, I'm done. And I had only done one row of half double crochet under the eye opening. My son tried it on, it looked good, I took a picture, and I even include that picture in this video. But then it dawned on me, wait a minute, on the orange one I did two rows. So I said, hey babe, do you want me to make a second row under there? He goes, oh yeah, that would be awesome. So I made a second row of half double crochets in the blue bandana tutorial, which is this tutorial. 
and he liked it much better so I took another picture so I included both pictures at the end of this video okay guys I think I've said it all I think I've mentioned everything that I need to mention and I hope you enjoy this tutorial let me know how your hats turn out all right guys have fun hi everyone Glamo here um, welcome back to made with love by Glamo this is an impromptu um, tutorial because I just finished making this tutorial um, yesterday or the day before and um, this is for a seven to a petite adult seven year old to a petite adult and my son tried it on and it actually did fit him it was a teeny bit tight and he wanted me to make some alterations um, like right here in my um, first turtle tutorial I did double triple crochets there and half double crochets here and he says do you think you can make it a little bigger here a little more open in this area and less open in this area and so I did that and he also wanted the beanie to be a little bit longer so what I did and he wanted a blue one and so what I did is I followed the green part exactly like this one except I use a 5.50 millimeter hook which is an what is it an eye hook and so I've done that and I thought I would come on camera I was just sitting here crocheting in my recliner this is my recliner this is the part where you put your feet up so it's a little see how it moves <laughs> So I'm just sitting here on the recliner part and this is where my legs go and I just put my light here and my camera and I just thought that I would just turn the camera on really quick and tell you the differences that I'm doing for this tutorial in case you want to make this for your husband, boyfriend or an adult or your teenage son or something. So what I did on this tutorial I only did um, one row of half double crochets. I did the uh, zip I slip stitched the chain on remember and then I did one row of half double crochet but on Daniel's my son's hat here's the one row of double crochet and now I've done two more so in total I'm doing three rows of double crochet before I make the opening for the eyes so right now I am almost finished with the um, With the half double crochets so I'm going to do part of it on camera with you so I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the end of row three with my half double crochets and then I will meet you back here when I get to the end okay alrighty okay so I'm at the end here and now I'm going to chain up two one two and I placed my stitch markers in the exact same um, place where I placed them on this one uh, the same amount of stitches so what you have to do is you have to go watch this tutorial first um, and I'll put a link right here so watch this tutorial first and when you get to the color change area that's where you might want to maybe come and watch this tutorial instead if you're making it for an adult if you're making it for a kid then follow this tutorial all the way okay so now I am going I'm at the end and I just um, chained up two and I'm going to half double crochet all the way to I get to this stitch marker okay and then I will meet you back here and tell you what the difference is that I'm going to do for the opening that my son wanted like I said he wanted this side a little less open and this side a little more open because he says when he blinked his eyelashes would hit this part so I'm making this part a little more open and this a little less alrighty I'll see you when I get my half double crochets all the way to that stitch marker okay so I'm almost to where the stitch marker is I'm going to put whoops I need to yarn over I'm going to put a half double crochet into the stitch where the stitch marker is and now I can take that out oh I wanted to let you know in case you don't go and watch that one first which I think you should because um, it's the exact same thing I did for this one other than using a bigger size hook um, you can either eyeball the center um, here's the seam that we've been closing the beanie up with you can 
find the center you can eyeball it or you can count the stitches and if you watch this tutorial you'll know how many stitches to go in from where I start the blue I believe it was 28 stitches and then once you find your center Astrid what's wrong once you find your center um, count 14 stitches this way and place your stitch marker and then go to this side and go 14 stitches and place your stitch marker that way you know where to stop your um, half double crochets and this is when we're going to start the opening for the eye so to make this part less open on this tutorial I did a double crochet which I'm going to do the same thing for this one But then the next stitch I made a, wait, hold on a second. I, didn't, I think I only grabbed one of the sides of the V's on that. Okay, let me grab both. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Okay, so I did a double crochet in this one just like I did just now. But then I did a triple crochet, which I'm not going to do this time. I'm going to make another double crochet. And then on this one I did a double triple crochet but I'm not going to do a double triple crochet I'm going to do a triple crochet so then just yarn over twice and put in put it in that next stitch and then yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and I'm going to do another double I mean another triple crochet into the next stitch so that's the difference that I'm doing on this side of the uh, eye opening and you can see that the opening is not as big as this one is you see how how open that is well he thought it went down too far onto his cheekbone so I'm only doing triple crochets instead of double triple crochets and now I'm going to chain eight just like in the other video two three four five six seven and eight okay so now that we have our eight chains we're going to skip eight one two three four five six seven eight and we are going to um, triple crochet into the next one after the eighth skipped one we're going to go right into here and there's our center the next one would be our center but we're going to go into the one right before the center and we're going to triple crochet okay and now we're going to double crochet right here into that one let me get this out now we're going to double crochet it is not easy doing a tutorial on my on my recliner now we're going to triple crochet into the next one to make it even on both sides okay so let me show you what we did so it's not as wide on this side as that one is but it's a little bit wider or open near the nose area than this one is you see how this kind of comes to a point well I guess um, because he's bigger you know bigger face bone structure and everything um, so it fit him a little bit too tight right in there so I opened it up for him so that when he blinks his eyelashes won't hit that and bug him okay so now that we have our triple crochet double crochet and triple crochet now we're going to chain eight whoops wait 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 no don't go away come on oh there we go I saved it saved my stitch okay now we're going to chain eight to match this side over here one two three four five six seven and eight and that's right now we're going to skip eight one two three four five six seven eight go into the next one and triple crochet and triple crochet again and now double crochet 
and now double crochet again and now we're at the stitch marker so just like over here we half double crocheted all the way till we got to the stitch marker so now we're going to start our half double crochets right there where the stitch marker is go through all three and we're just going to do that all the way till we get to the other end now okay so do that all the way till you get to this end and then I will tell you what to do next okay so I made it to this end and I chained two and now I'm going to turn my work around and I'm going to half double crochet all the way till you get to the end and then when you get to the end that'll be it just go ahead and okay so here I am I'm finished here's the adult one and here's the child size one and like I said everything is pretty much the same except I used a 5.0 millimeter hook with this one which is an, an, yeah, an H in American size and I used an I hook with this one which is a 5.5 millimeter hook and so that's one difference I the green part I followed the exact same pattern for both um, and for this one of course I only did one row of half double crochet this one I did how many one two three let me see is it only three one two three before I started the opening of the eye um, so yeah that's one difference that I did and then here I used a half double crochet near the nose area and here I used a triple crochet and then on the outer part of the eye I used a double triple crochet so it's very opened on the end and it tapers down on this one my son didn't want it quite so open here but wanted it more open there so it's more it's more uniform it looks more balanced um, I don't know I kind of like the look of that one but I like I do like how this looks better on him so anyway this is what it looks like in the front this is what it looks like in the back oh and another thing that I meant to tell you is I made the strap longer for his in the back with this one I chained the initial part of the chain we chained 35 and then I attached it to the hat and then it came all the way around with it and then when I got to the other side I chained 37 well with this one I chained 40 and then attached it to the hat and then went all the way around and then when I got to this side where the stitch marker is I chained 42 and so I did 40 plus an extra two the two for the height of the half double crochet so that's another difference is I made the straps a little bit longer since he is a grown man okay so that's it now I'm going to have him try it on and I'm gonna take pictures for the thumbnail alrighty guys so don't forget to go check out this link right there to follow this tutorial follow it all the way except for the size of the hook when you get to changing to the changing of the colors then you can come to this tutorial for the adult size or you can stick to this whole tutorial if you're doing it for a child size Alrighty, so thank you so much for joining me here at Made with Love by Glamour, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. And don't forget, Glamour loves you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone else that you come in contact with. Alrighty guys, bye. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamour's channel. channel.